So at the Dollar Tree, I picked up six hook wall attachment, and you can also get these in black or white, depending on your store. I also got two paper towel holders and this black wire tray. Unfortunately, my store only had black or white wire trays, so I went with black. You can actually go ahead and skip the wire tray. I am adding it because I want to use it to hold stuff, but you can totally skip that part. I also went ahead and grabbed Dollar Tree's zip ties. And I went to Target to pick up some screws, but if you already have some on hand, then you can skip that part. So I'm trying to make my own version of a Dollar Tree DIY external closet. So my family and I live in a two bedroom condo. And while we both make a modest living, our home that we rent doesn't have a lot of closet space, especially not for the three of us. Plus, my husband and I actually have opposite work schedules, and so as a result, we actually sleep in separate rooms. Because frankly, if we didn't, we would probably not get any sleep between the two of us. I know it probably sounds weird, but we do actually love each other and have a healthy relationship. It's just that we both snore, so we keep each other awake, unfortunately. So we do have to do it this way. But in any case, I really wanted my daughter to have her own bedroom with a door, so I decided to DIY my own bedroom in the living room area, and I don't have any closet space in that room. I do take up some closet space in my husband's master bedroom walk-in closet, but there's not a lot in there as well. And plus, when I want to get up and get ready for work, I don't actually want to disturb him or his piece while I'm trying to get my clothes, so I need some space within my DIY bedroom for a closet. And while I do have a dresser in my bedroom, it's still not enough, unfortunately, for a woman in her 40s to have just a dresser in her room. So I need a little bit of a extra closet. I did initially buy a closet that I got from my daughter, but then I wanted to make space in her closet in her bedroom for her clothes. So I actually swapped out whatever clothes I had in there to put onto the rack that I have on wheels that I initially bought from Amazon, but I don't have the space for another one. And I want one that's attached to the wall. So as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and using twisty ties and connecting one paper towel holder to one side of the six hook wall attachment all the way to the left. And then I'm going to twisty tie another one to the one hook all the way on the right. And that way on either side, I have a paper towel holder on either side. This might not be the prettiest thing that I'm putting together, but I feel really good about how sturdy this feels. And I'm making sure to put one twisty tie on one corner of one piece of wire to the other and then doing the same thing on the other side so that it's kind of attaching on two sides of the area, if that makes any sense. Kind of like um, vertical corners, if you will. I'm making this because I really wanted a way to add additional closet space within my bedroom without trying to increase my bedroom space because I really can't. And the one other external closet I already have is just not enough for all the clothes I actually need to put on there. That said, we really can't afford to move into a larger space at this point, but we're in a really good place with our current space and we're hoping to save up in the meantime to hopefully buy a home. So we're just in this spot right now and I just really wanted my daughter to have her own bedroom and so I thought I would take the smallest room of the house. But thankfully my dresser still allows me to have two feet of space between my bed and the dresser. And this wall attachment is actually going to go on the wall side that I have left that doesn't have any decor on it that my bed is actually attached to. So when I want to access any of these clothes, I will have to be standing on my bed and I'm totally fine with that. I've actually lived in smaller bedrooms before when I was single. So now that I have both of my paper towel holders attached to the wall attachment, I'm now going ahead and attaching my black wire tray to the wall attachment making sure to add zip ties to either end of the wire basket or tray to the paper towel holders and or the wall attachment. And in case you're wondering, I'm currently not cutting my zip ties just yet because I wanna see if they're attached well enough once they are on the wall. Then once I'm confident, I will cut the excess off. However, in case for some reason I need to make any additional adjustments, these zip ties from Dollar Tree surprisingly look like the kind that you can actually reuse. So I'm trying to twist and turn parts of the paper towel holders because I want to make sure that things are lining up the way I want them to so that I can eventually put some kind of a rod through the end of these paper towel holders to make my DIY 
external closet. And for the rod piece, you can use anything that you already have on hand or you can go to the store and pick up anything similar. Like you can get PVC pipes to the length that you need. You can use an old broomstick. Maybe the bristles are no longer good so you remove that attachment. Or you can use a rod like one of the uh, handles for broomsticks or whatever for from the Dollar Tree if you want to make this entirely a DIY Dollar Tree project. I happen to have an old curtain rod that I use for my old apartment so I'm going to be using that instead and I think the length is going to be perfect for my needs. So as you can see I'm also attaching the black wire basket towards the end of the two paper towel holders because I want to make sure I can make it as level as possible so it doesn't slant down a little bit. Then I'm taking this painter's tape and I'm using it to go across the top part of the wall attachment with the six hooks because I want to mark where the holes are so that I could perfectly align where I want my external closet. Then from my recent Dollar Tree shopping spree, from when I picked up these pieces, I also picked up these felt tip pens and I'm testing them out by marking the spots that I need the holes to be. And these work great for this purpose, however, I'm going to test these out in a later video on doodling. Then once I finish with that, I realize, oh my gosh, I could use some more zip ties to connect the black wire tray to this piece. So I go ahead and add the zip ties to the alternate corners to connect it and make it more stable. And I'm starting off by doing it loosely at first and then tightening either side once I'm happy. And here I went ahead and installed it into the wall using screws and anchors. And as it stands, it sits just fine without any issues. So while it looked totally fine with the curtain rod added in, and even though that's too long, I recommend something else entirely shorter. Once I added the clothes, it ended up just falling down, even with the anchors. And so I probably needed some stronger anchors, but let me know in the comments below if you have better suggestions. Perhaps this is best used for toddler clothing instead. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.